Neura Valley National Park is a true birders paradise. In this trip, our goal was to explore the national park and its surrounding areas. One of our primary target for this particular trip was the rare Satay Tragopan. Our journey began at the New Jalpaiguri railway station where our group of five met. Our destination was the renowned Neura Valley National Park. So our gang is here. Budhada has joined us from NJP. Ananji is here, Jai is here and Brati is in front. And Sukhu bhai is taking us to Lava. So by the time we reach there it will be evening. It started to rain on the way and by the time we reached our homestay, it was late at night. Hey, good morning everyone. So last night we reached our homestay very very late. So we just had our dinner and slept and we are in Lava right now, Lava Feathers in homestay. And so this is our room. And see, this is the view out of our room. So, we are going to Kolakam today for birding. So, let's see what we can find today. From Lava, we started to move towards Kolakam. And on the way itself, I found a lifer for me. It was the highly elusive and a proper skulker. The bird was rufus cap babbler one of the special bird of this region so the lava monastery can be seen from here and we are walking down this kolakham road we saw a couple of birds like milla and all Taraji is our guide, he is calling us. In this place, we found another gem of a bird, a black throated sunbird. Even though I have seen this bird multiple times, it never gave me this much amount of time to film it. While clicking the sunbird, I noticed a dog carefully watching our activities and after we clicked the sunbird and started to move forward the dog also came along with us so this is the beauty of lava just look at this place wow amazing In this particular spot, we noticed a lot of Sikkim tree creepers. However, the light was extremely low, so we ended up getting a lot of noisy footages. But nonetheless, we cannot complain about the sighting. It was really amazing. So we are at the final point of our morning session uh, near the Change waterfalls. So this is the habitat. So I came little deep inside the forest near the Change falls. So see this is the habitat. And a lot of bird activity is going on. But none of them are coming close. The rest of my team is down but the activity is going on here amazing landscape from far distance we heard a call that i was very familiar with it was the golden throated barbet after looking around for a while we finally spotted the bird
We also noticed couple of Rufus sevia, one of the most common bird of the hills, on top of a red flower. So we came back from our morning session and there is a small hide also that Tara has uh, set up. I'll show you. See. So the birds are coming here to take bath. At the backyard of our homestay, one of the most common bird that can be seen is a chestnut crowned laughing thrush. Not just the laughing thrush, a group of red billed Leothrix is also a regular visitor in this backyard. A lonely tickles thrush also came to quench its thirst. It is also one of the regular visitor in the backyard. However, the best sighting of all was the pair of rufous winged fulvetta. They came to take bath and they gave us ample amount of time to observe their behavior and film them. After our lunch, we went out to the field. We went to explore the Latham Road, an area where the red-faced Leo Chikla is very frequently seen. The habitat of that region was extremely amazing, but the general bird activity was very low. Despite a lot of search, we could only find one green-tailed sunbird and there was no sign of any Leo Chikla at all. The sunbird that we spotted was a green-tailed sunbird and it gave us very nice sighting. So we were happy that we are not going back empty-handed from this session. The next day was our main birding session inside the northern range of Neura Valley National Park with the majestic satire tragopan on our mind. We left very early from our homestay and started climbing uphill. The habitat was extremely pretty. Even in the low light, the dense forest of Neura Valley National Park looked just out of this world. So we have arrived at the Neura Valley uh, National Park, North Range. So let me show you the place around. Here is my full team. Now this is the forest uh, check post. And from here we'll trek approximately 6 km for the tragopan. Trekking at an altitude of 9,000 feet above sea level can be hard, but when you have Satayat Tragopan on your mind, you have that extra boost of energy to cover the distance. So we started trekking towards our target. On our way, we heard a call and Taraji identified the bird. It was a rufous throated rain babbler and we got a glimpse of it as well. It was a real treat to film this absolute skulker and a rarity of the region.
After clicking the rain babbler, we decided to ignore other birds and started walking towards the point where the tragopans are frequently seen. Upon reaching the spot, our waiting game had begun. Without any single movement, we had to wait almost an hour. And after an hour, a red head popped up in front of us. It was a male satire tragopan. My dream species was in front of me and I was extremely, extremely happy and overwhelmed to witness the moment. This particular individual was actually performing courtship display, which we got to see at the very end of our sighting. And that was the reason it was actually bolder than any other male in that region. And it did not care how many photographers were there. It gave us an amazing sighting. I'll not say anything more. I'll just let you enjoy this beautiful bird. So we had an insane morning session. I, I have no words to explain the feeling of seeing a satire tragopan performing courtship in front of you. Here is Aditya, he is also very happy. The whole team is happy. Now we are here in the uh, Choa Ferry camp again. Here we will have our breakfast and then we will continue our afternoon uh, birding session. After having Maggie for our breakfast, we started to climb down and look for other birds. White strogon was another species on our mind. However, there was no white strogon to be seen or heard, but we encountered a white-tailed nuthatch. The nuthatch was looking for food and it gave us ample amount of time to observe its behavior. Observing a bird's behavior is the most important aspect of bird watching. After our encounter with the nuthatch, we noticed a rufous-winged fulveta also showing similar behavior. The fulveta also gave us ample amount of time to observe it. From the morning itself, we were hearing a lot of parrot bill calls and finally it was time for us to encounter the black-throated parrot bill, one of the smallest and fastest and restless bird that you will encounter in this region. After clicking the parrot bill, we started going down and our guide Taraji told us he will take us to a spot where a fire-tailed sunbird is frequently visiting and after we reached the spot, we actually saw a fire-tailed sunbird in a full breeding plumage.
After clicking the sunbird, I saw a golden breasted fulvetta which was a lifer for me. Even though the bird did not give us too much time, still we were very happy to see it. With that fulvetta sighting, it was the end of our trip. But I was very sure to come back to this region once again for the word strogon and for the red faced leocicla. If you have enjoyed this video, I'll request you to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.